Good evening. One of the films nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay is Call Me By Your Name. I was actually up for the lead, but I campaigned. I didn't get it, because, you know, sexism. <laughs> the nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay are... And the Writers Guild Award goes to James Ivory for Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> I'm uh, astonished by all this. I could never have imagined when I started out on, I, I just wanted to go and make a film in Italy again. <laughs> but uh, I really want to, fel to thank my fellow writers at, the, at Writers Guild East and West for this honor. I'm so touched that you've given it to me. I'm not exactly a mere novice, but I've never undertaken a complete screenplay on my own in all the years that I was directing films, so I'm really moved by your enthusiasm and this award. Um, I was certainly helped in thinking about the screenplay by my years and years and years of work with Ruth Jobvala, another Writer Guild member who's no longer here. I, I don't think I'd be up here if I, if I hadn't uh, worked closely with her. I also want to thank my, Michael Barker and his team at Sony Classics for all their work in supporting Call Me By Your Name, <clears throat> and my neighbors in upstate New York, Peter Spears and his partner Brian Swarstrom, who brought me into the project along with Luca Guardanino. And my ties to Sony and to Columbia Pictures go all the way back to our very first film in 1963, The Householder. So we've had this a long, long, long relationship with Sony and Columbia, or Columbia first. And I also want to thank the actors, because sometimes one, one's actors tend to get overlooked in these kinds of speeches by directors and writers, and almost taken for granted. But how very, very lucky we were. How lucky Luca, Andre Asiman, and I all were because of the wonderful work of Timothy Chalamet, Armie Hammer, Michael Stuhlberg, and Esther Gorell. So thanks to them and thank you.